Now let's bring in CBS2 investigator Dave Savini. Dave, there was an overwhelming demand for police reform after this case made public, but much of that was centered on stopping the use of excessive force. It really did also put the focus on the lack of transparency. Erica, that's right. One thing we learned from this killing was the massive lack of transparency by the Chicago Police Department and the city. In fact, the one police dash camera video that did exist was kept under wraps until a judge ordered its released. Then, two years after the video's release, the Department of Justice released a blistering report revealing rampant excessive force in Chicago and the need for more transparency. That led to a court ordered consent decree and mandated police reforms. And then, body cameras were issued to all patrol officers, in part to help bring about transparency to help build back trust with the community, but we soon uncovered widespread problems involving those cameras, especially during police raids and investigatory stops. We found dating back to 2018, officers failed to activate body cameras at least 62,000 times. Dave, how can officers continue to misuse body cameras uh, to this proportion? Uh, are there ever any repercussions, any, any discipline? You know, Brad, not really. When we explored the data, we also looked at random one-a-day body camera reviews that were supposed to be done in every district, but we found repeatedly those reviews just did not happen. A new search warrant policy also now requires every officer on a raid to have a body camera running. Body camera footage is also now available for victims who no longer have to file a lawsuit and wait years to see the footage, like in the Anjanette Young case. Changes all prompted by our investigative reporting. Live in the newsroom, Dave Savini, CBS2 Investigators. All right, Dave, thank you. And right after this newscast, tune in to CBS News Chicago to catch Dave's full 30 minute roundtable conversation discussing the Chicago Police Department's use of body cameras.